Wouldn't it be great if the work week started on a Tuesday? That will exactly be the case for students and teachers in the Brighton District 27J district as they head back to school today. This year, that district starts a four-day school week that goes from Tuesday to Friday. Denver 7's Cole Brady is live for us this morning. Nicole, it's a way to save the district money, but what about uh, working parents? And how do they find daycare when the kids are only in school four days? Yeah, it would be great if uh, parents could have Mondays off as well. But no, I mean, that was one of the biggest concerns for parents when the district decided to go to this four day a week schedule, what to do with the kids on Monday. So the district is offering child care on Mondays at a cost of $30 per Monday per student. I did the math on this. And even when you take out uh, the school breaks and the Mondays that are holidays in the school year, that still amounts to 34 Mondays that the kids would have gone to school. So 34 times $30, that's over $1,000 a year per kid that those parents now have to pay for childcare this year. But money, of course, was also the reason the school district did this. Uh, for one thing, they expect this is going to save them about a million dollars this school year. And also, uh, 27J is trying to retain teachers because this is one of the lowest paid districts in the metro area. So the hope is that giving teachers a four day work week will be enough to compensate for their lower salary and will hopefully keep district or student teachers in this district. Now it's important to note that students and teachers will still be going to school the same amount of hours this school year because they will have a longer school day Tuesday through Thursday. Today, of course, it's all about the big first day of school for the elementary kids in 27 J. They'll be heading out here a little over an hour from now. We're live in Thornton, Nicole Brady, Denver 7.